What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. So first of all, I am sorry for my voice. I'm having sore throat. I'm having some tonsils here. So I will try my best to speak slowly and to speak as clearly as I can so you will understand me. So here in this episode, I'm going to review a perfume from the house of Thomas Kosmala and this is one of uh, uh, Thomas Kosmala's most famous fragrance and here I'm talking about Thomas Kosmala number no. 4 April Amor Ude Parfum so this is a very famous fragrance from the house and this perfume is very famous to be an alternative of uh, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 so today in this video I'm going to review April Amor number four and i'm going to tell you that how similar is this to baccarat rouge 540 and then i'm going to review another fragrance in the same video which is furfesha from the house of nabil this is a recent launch new launch from the house and then i'm going to tell you that how this perfume actually smells and i'm sure you have already understood that if i'm reviewing both of these fragrances in the same video it means uh, once again this is uh clone or alternative of the same Makarat Rouge 540 DNA, yes, but here I'm going to describe it and tell you the differences between all these three fragrances. So let's start our review and first of all we will talk about Makarat Rouge 540. So Makarat Rouge 540 is you can say one of the best or you can say one of the most famous or most selling fragrance from the house of Meso Francis Curzua and if you are someone who is in this hobby for quite some time I'm sure you have already smelled uh, or you have already experienced that DNA. So here Baccarat Rouge 540 is a fragrance which gives you very beautiful cotton candy kind of vibe that sugary kind of vibe mixed with very beautiful sweet uh, saffron and then there is a very strong note of that resinous amber wood so you will get that that chewy gummy kind of woody note in that perfume uh, mixed with a very beautiful soft sweet saffron and then that cotton candy kind of uh, accord on the top of that perfume with some other things going around in the concoction like you will get some hints of jasmine and uh, fur fur resin so a little bit of greenness a lot of amber woody chewiness there and cotton candy kind of feel so this is how Baccarat Rouge smells a very beautiful concoction it was very unique at the time of its launch and then all companies copied it uh, like a zillion times and that DNA becomes very common nowadays but still the quality and the refineness of original is is always there. So this was about Baccarat Rouge 540 and now let's start our review of our main fragrance April Amour from the house of Thomas Kosmala. So we will start with the presentation first. By the way guys I don't have uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, but I have smelled it like trillion times so I know the DNA very well. So let's start our review. So Thomas Kosmala number four April Amour comes in this simple white colored box. This is their uh, way of doing things like uh, printing the name on the on the on the corner so it's going on the both sides starts from one side and the name goes uh, towards the other side so here the name of the brand thomas kosmala uh, number four the name of the perfume april amour and ude parfum one side is pure white plain then there is the logo initials embossed on the top uh, some details in the bottom and notes break down here in the back of the box so this is how the box looks and now let me show you the bottle. So this perfume comes in this simple barrel shaped bottle with a very normal uh, simple white color sticker with the name of the perfume and brand. So this is the presentation. Uh, nothing much is going around here. Very simple and normal kind of presentation. Uh, nothing to brag here. So now the fragrance. If you check this perfume on Fragrantica, you will find out that so many people uh, say that this is an alternative or clone of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. So yes, this perfume is going to give you similar kind of effect, similar kind of vibe. But this is totally a different kind of scent. If you ask me, is this closer uh, to Baccarat Rouge 540? So I will tell you that no, this is totally different kind of scent but yes uh, you will find a very similar feel here uh, on the first sniff or if someone is uh, 
wearing this perfume and it's going to cross you, the first thing which will come to your mind is Bakrat Rouge 540. But on a close examination, testing it side by side or testing it directly on your skin, you will find out that this is totally a different kind of scent. Here, the first thing you will get in the opening is uh, some zesty feel. In the notes breakdown, they have a note of lemon zest. So you get that uh, uh, zesty feel, that lemon zest kind of feel, which is a little bit bitter. And then there is a very bitter Neroli hair, which is absent in Bakhrat 540. And you will get zero sugar candy, uh, that uh, cotton candy kind of accord here. There is no such kind of sweetness here, except that amber wood kind of feel. So that uh, amber wood chewy sweet kind of feel makes it a little bit similar to Bagrat Rouge 540. Otherwise, uh, the opening here is totally different. It's a lot of bitterness that you will get here in the opening. Uh, bitter uh, orange blossom, or you can say like a bitter Neroli kind of scent with some zesty lemon here on the top. And then yes, there is aromatic spices in the middle, but I cannot get any kind of spices here actually. It's more on a woody side. So uh, lemon zest with strong bitter Neroli with that chewy amber wood kind of effect uh, mixed with a lot of musk. Musk, because musk is also used in Bakhrat 540. I forget to tell you about it in, in, in the beginning. So a lot of white musk here, but still the musk is of very high quality. It's not that uh, nauseating white sugary kind of uh, white musk. So it's all about musk, some sharp, dark type of woody notes in the base, but they're light, they are not overwhelming. But the feel of uh, that woody notes are like dark and, and heavy. Uh, so a mix of dark woods with that uh, sweet chewy amber wood uh, with a lot of musk and then on the top you will get this uh, lemon zest and bitter uh, uh, neroli or bitter orange blossom kind of feel here so this is how this perfume smells so if you're going to compare this perfume with Bakarat Rouge 540 you will find huge differences no cotton candy uh, which is very prominent in Bakarat Rouge 540 it's more sweet there is a very strong note of saffron there uh, in Bakhrat 540 saffron, uh, soft, smooth saffron mixed with amber wood. So here, no saffron. Uh, maybe, I think, maybe some traces of saffron, but maybe in the back. So if uh, you don't know uh, the notes breakdown, if you don't know that they have mentioned some aromatic spices here, it will be, I think, difficult to pick saffron here. So a uh, very different kind of scent, which creates a very similar kind of effect or aura. And now uh, let's talk about our third perfume, which is Forfesha from the house of Nabil. And let me show you the presentation here first. So this perfume comes in a very, uh, what, how you can say, a, a, a unique kind of box here. So you have to move this area back like transformers and then you have to remove this part up to get your bottle and a very <clears throat> mechanical type of box. And now let me show you the bottle and the bottle is gorgeous here. Look at this guys. It's, this is something uh, meant to be used by ladies from, from the first look. You will know that this is something to be used by ladies. Very beautiful bottle. See, it's curvy. Okay a thick glass base with a very beautiful cap this ha hanging uh, gemstone here the cap here is made of metal and it's very heavy very heavy and it's very tightly uh, fit on the perfume it's always difficult to remove it so here you go the cap is very heavy and see you can find these beautiful gemstones on the cap so presentation wise uh, this bottle is beautiful it's gorgeous uh, see how beautiful it looks and even this whole part here is made of metal. So this is about the presentation of uh, Furfisha from the house of Nabil and this is one of their, their new launch. So once again, the effect this perfume creates is very similar to uh, Bakarat Rouge 540. But now let me tell you that how this perfume actually smells. So here you will find some light citruses in the opening and instead of that cotton candy kind of feel or instead of that zesty and that a bitter kind of opening which comes in 
April Lamour. Here you will find some citruses in the opening, which are going to give you lemon candy kind of feel. So it's not cotton candy, it's not sugary, but it's citrusy candy kind of feel what you will get here. So this is the first difference. And then uh, the meat faces are very similar. Uh, if you are going to compare them uh, with the Bakra 540 or with April Amor, uh, the meat faces are almost the same. It's creating once again that very similar uh, kind of effect with that amber wood sweetness with some touch of uh, saffron then you will obviously get some jasmine here and at the end you'll find a woody kind of base here in the base you will find uh, some a dry wood kind of feel but the woods used here are more similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, instead of uh, April Lamour because in April Lamour the woods are as I've told you earlier they are more dark and more uh, a strong kind of foods but here you can say this perfume is something in between of Bakra Rouge 540 and Apre Lamour. Uh, it's not bitter it's not as sugary and uh, as Bakra Rouge 540 so this is something in in the mid but once again gives you a very similar vibe very uh, similar kind of effect so here uh, Furfasha is a recent launch from the house of Nabil and they have done a very nice job. So this was about Furfisha from the house of Nabi. And now let's talk about the other aspects of these perfumes and we will compare uh, the performance and other things. So performance wise, April Amour is a beast. Uh, this perfume is going to make you nose blind in a few minutes. And you might be thinking that uh, this this, this perfume is not there. You, you will not be able to smell it. And you will be abusing all those people who have commented on uh, the page of Fragrantica saying that this is uh, one of the longest lasting perfume on planet Earth. Uh, trust me, guys, this perfume is there. It's strong. People around you will be smelling it. It projects like a beast and it lasts and lasts and lasts. It's a very long lasting scent but it makes you nose blind and you will not be able to enjoy it but the people around you will be enjoying it so this is you can say a good side and the bad side so performance wise nothing can beat april amour number four from the house of thomas kosmala uh, baccarat rouge 540 is also a very long lasting scent but this one wins overall and now let's talk about farfisha farfisha is not as long lasting as April Amour or not as long lasting as BR 540. Uh, but trust me, guys, this perfume is going to give you whiffs even on the next day if you are going to spray it on your uh, clothes, on your fabric. So still, uh, lasting is very decent, very long lasting scent, not as strong as April Amour. It's not projecting as strong as April Amour, not that kind of beast. A more scent but still performance is very nice so you can say uh, this wins in the performance but still this is not bad this is very good for the price you are paying here and now uh, for the gender for the gender uh, BR540 suits more on women this one suits more on men this is more masculine type of scent this is bitter this is more woody and this one comes in between uh, going to work better with women but even the guys can rock it. For the age group, you should be around like 20, 22 plus to rock any of these scents. Uh, for April Amour, you should be, I think, around 23 to 24 years old, a little bit more mature. This is a little bit more complex kind of concoction here. And now let's talk about weather or season. So you can rock these perfumes all year around without any issue in summers and winters, whenever you want. And uh, for occasion, uh, these are the scents you can wear in weddings, in birthdays, in parties, in dinners. You can also use these perfumes in your offices or in your school colleges, uh, but uh, sorry, you're in your universities, not school colleges, because you will be in your university at the age of like 2022. 20, so yes, you can drop them, uh, but uh, these are, you know, like uh, they have that feel of uh, festivals in, in, in them. So better to wear them on uh, some uh, festivals or some weddings or some get-togethers or some occasions uh, these kind of occasions and uh, you can rock them in the malls where if you're going outdoor you're going on dates these are going to rock we have a very good scent for dates so this was about the occasion and now let's talk about the price 
So Baccarat Rouge 540 is going to cost you around 1000 to 1100 UAE dirham in the grey market. Very expensive and for 75 ml guys, not 100 ml. 75 ml juice BR540, 1100 UAE dirhams approximately. And now Thomas Kusmala number 4, April Amor. Once again, this comes in 100 ml quantity and the price of this perfume uh, is around, you can say, 450 UAE dirhams approximately in the grey market. So this is already half of the price of MFK's BR540. Half, you know, a huge difference and a more stronger version, but uh, maybe some people still prefer B, uh, BR540 for that. Uh, candy, a cotton candy, candy floss a kind of effect. And now let's come to this perfume, which is Furfasha from the house of Nabi. So this perfume comes in 60 ml quantity with this beautiful bottle. And the price of this perfume is 60 UA dirhams on their website, on the website of Nabi. So it's just a fraction of the price. So don't expect uh, same kind of quality and same uh, kind of uh, performance here as uh, April Amour or as BR 540, but still it's very good. So for the price you're paying, this is worth your each penny. So this was about Furfesha, the house of Nabil and April Amour from the house of Thomas Kosmala. I hope you like this review or comparison or whatever it was. And uh, until the next video, take care and bye.